Hello and welcome. Statistical Process Control, or SPC, is a method to monitor, control, and enhance processes by studying their data over time. The main purpose of SPC is to ensure consistent, predictable processes by minimizing variation and identifying special causes before they impact quality and performance. We can trace the roots of SPC back to the early 20th century. Dr. Walter Schuhart of Bell Laboratories was among the earliest to develop the control chart in the 1920s. During World War II, statistical quality control techniques were widely applied in the United States to improve the quality of war materials. One of the key features of SPC is the use of control charts to quickly recognize variation that requires our attention. Control charts are a cornerstone of statistical process control because they provide a visual and analytical means to monitor the stability and performance of a process over time. By plotting data points in chronological order and establishing control limits, control charts allow organizations to identify variations in a process quickly. This helps distinguish between common cause variation, which are inherent to the process and usually don't require immediate corrective action, and special cause variation, which are anomalies indicating that the process is out of control and requires urgent intervention. Moreover, the use of different types of control charts tailored to the nature of the data and the specific insights required, for example, the mean, range, proportion, or count, allows for a nuanced analysis of process performance. We can use statistical process control to monitor, maintain, and manage process performance. We can also integrate SPC methods and our principles into our continuous improvement efforts. For example, SPC is closely built into the Six Sigma DMAIC approach. The understanding and use of various types of control charts is particularly important in the measure, analyze, and control phases of DMAIC. In the measure phase, SPC helps collect data and establish metrics that will serve as a baseline for performance. During the analyze phase, SPC aids in identifying variations and deviations from the norm, helping to pinpoint potential areas for improvement. These analytical tools help teams distinguish between common cause and special cause variation, this is critical for determining whether a process requires fundamental changes or merely needs adjustments to be brought under control. In the improve phase of DMAIC, we often use statistical models to validate the efficacy of proposed solutions, ensuring that process improvements are data-driven rather than based on assumptions. Finally, in the control phase of DMAIC, we rely heavily on SPC to monitor the process continually and ensure that improvements are sustained over time. As we can see, SPC provides the data-driven backbone to the DMAIC process, enabling organizations to make informed decisions, implement lasting improvements, and maintain optimized processes. We put statistical process control into practice through a five-step approach. These are selecting critical processes, collecting data, analyzing data, identifying variation, and taking root cause corrective actions. These steps are integral to continuous improvement, making SPC essential for organizations aiming to sustain and optimize their operations. That wraps up our review of SPC, or Statistical Process Control. We'll see you soon.